right, this is a uh, new style for Prop OS 4. Um, this is an audio flicker, but this has the color swing. So this uses Responsive Blade from OS 3.9. Um, this has a, a modified color version, so rather than going pure white, it actually just goes to a brighter version of its base color. Um, in, in addition, it has all of the fully responsive effects, um, plus it also has the new variation on color wheel built in. Um, so for this one, when you, uh, the f speed of your swing, it'll actually go from, this is the deep sky blue, it'll go to a, a brighter blue, more of a, I guess it's azure. So it doesn't go pure white. But it's using the speed of the swing to modify the color. So really fast swings will get brighter blue, and then slower doesn't. Um, and then in addition, this has all of the fully responsive effects. So um, it's got the responsive blast. So instead of blast being a randomized location, that blast is actually going to be based on the angle of your blade. So as you move your blade, it'll change that blast angle. Um, same with clash. So now clash is going to be based, the location is based on the angle of your blade. Um, and then we do have the responsive lockup. Um, so the lockup location will be the same as the clash location based on the angle of your blade. And then as you move your hilt, defensively, that lockup location moves down towards the opponent and moves up. So you can control that just by changing the angle of the blade. Um, it's got transitions built in. We also have a new effect. Uh, the uh, responsive lock up, uh, lightning block. So this is uh, meant to be blocking a lightning attack. Now, if you turn your hilt, you can actually increase or decrease the intensity of the attack. And if you tilt your blade up, it'll actually focus the attack. Um, and then we also have a responsive drag, so the size of the drag will actually respond to turning your hilt. So you can make it larger. Or smaller just by turning your hook. We also have a uh, new melt uh, feet, uh, capability. So melt is like if, if you're cutting through a blast door, so it'll actually heat up the end of the material. Um, but the, the temperature or the color is dependent upon turning your hook. So I'll go from a red to an orange yellow just by turning your hook. And it'll actually change the size of the area. And then there is a responsive stab. So stab is based on the angle of your blade. It'll be a little bit deeper. That's just a one-off animation as opposed to the melt, which actually lets you um, do it into a surface. Um, but, uh, and then this also now features the new color wheel variation. So the new variation of color wheel lets you change the main blade or the base blade into any color. But it doesn't affect the other effects, particularly like melt, which if you change the color of that, it wouldn't look right. Um, so you go into color change mode, and now as you turn your hilt, it'll let you go through all the possible colors. And then you can lock it in. So now it'll lock in that new color, but it won't have changed the effect color, so it only changed that base blade color. So that melt is going to stay the same color, same with stab and the other effects. Um, so that's the new color wheel variation. So there's going to be a bunch of base uh, default colors up on the library for this. Um, uh, this will be under fully responsive, and this is the uh, audio flicker with color swing. Um, and then again, the color swing adjusts as well. So if you change the color of the blade, it actually also changes that base color.